Good morning, A Town. I'm Jack, and today is Monday, March 6th. Here's what's happening in A Town today. The Albemarle High School Science Field took place recently at all of our brightest science, engineering, and technology students came together in Mesa to share their work. A Town today was there and they shared some of it with us. Here's a loop. And I was wondering whether paper could be made partially out of either recycled pulp or wood pulp. But, uh, so I, I built a computer. My project is exploring the optimal ski turn for preventing skiing injuries. We tested straw bales as insulation. It is on how different light waves impact plant growth. A variety of different um, papers made from a combination of recycled paper pulp, which is in this jar, and banana pulp, which I made out of banana peels. I started with trying to do some security things. I wanted to make something perfectly secure. That doesn't happen unless you pull the plug from the internet or have a CPU that doesn't run any program. So injuries like cuts, lacerations, you know, brain brain damage, torn ligaments, broken bones, you know, even death. My goal is, uh, so what I did is I tested three different variables. The slope angle is medium and weight distribution far forward, not far back. Weight distribution um, carried a lot more weight than the other two variables. When my weight was in the front, um, the results tended to be better versus in the back, in the back seat. It's more likely to, you know, fall over because your center of gravity is not. They're porous, which means they have a lot of holes and a lot of air, and that's what makes insulation materials good because air is a good insulator, and that's that's shared with fiberglass and spray foam. Here are some equations, and we estimated that the R value would be two, which is an insulation value, and we came with 0.4, which was comparable to professional lab tests done on hay bales. And so then I had three different groups of plants: so basil, radishes, and black beans. And so basically, what we learned is that radishes grow the best under red wavelengths. They got to be about seven and a half centimeters compared to the blue wavelengths, which were about three and a half centimeters. The germination rate we found the highest was for the blue light basil plants. And so we had about a 68% germination rate compared to like 28% of the control group, which is under sunlight. And I went and tested the quality of each type of paper and compared it to just to really produce um, printing paper to see if the quality hand held up. I haven't been able to test things because it takes two weeks for orders to ship because I get them handmade in China, custom to my order. They ship and it takes a really long time. I'm trying to do is find the best turn and you know help people print policy and stuff. Food insecurity rates are going up in the next couple of years, in the next couple of decades. Like we're expecting about two billion more people on our planets by 2050, and we're expecting to need 70% more food than we currently have. And so it's important to best utilize the materials we have to grow the most food and get the best plant yield. And um, I found that it did. The banana paper is very durable. It's very flexible, and it absorbs ink pretty readily. And I and I concluded that since the paper can so successfully be produced, if the if the paper industry was to implement that at a larger scale, it would greatly reduce the wood pulp needed to produce paper, and it would also mean less deforestation since less wood has to be harvested. In sports news. We're still a week away from spring sports kicking into action, but there are a couple of chances to check out your favorite Patriots squad in preseason action. On Tuesday, Girls Varsity and Jeffy Soccer will host Mitch Notian in a preseason match, and then on Thursday, Bowl Soccer will take the pitch for a scrimmage with Liberty Christian Academy. Jeffy starts at 5.30, with the varsity match in Medini following. All sports sports get started for real next Saturday. Any few sports fans? 
Finally, a quick reminder that tonight is the Squid Chorus concert right here in the auditorium starting at 7 p.m. Come on out and hear what all the Patriot Chorus groups have been working on. It promises to be a night of great music. Here's a look at some highlights of the far show to peak your interest. Have a great Monday, everyone. We will see you tomorrow on A Town Today.